Hey everybody, what's up? It's Evan here from Train Plan Gamer, and today I actually found a game. Well, not myself, but we were doing some chores today, and we were cleaning, and my brother went either down into the basement or up into the attic, and he actually found some Nintendo 64 games, and uh, he kept one and I kept one, because one I already have, and this was actually on my list of games I've wanted. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what game we found. It's funny because I don't ever remember owning this game or buying this game. But it's from an old video game store that doesn't exist anymore in our area. And it's really weird we found this because like I said it was on my list of games I wanted to add to the collection. And that game is Star Wars Rogue Squadron. I've been wanting to get this game since the beginning of my collecting it's i guess it, it, it was in the attic or the basement um just hanging out this game doesn't this game store doesn't exist anymore replay games um it's not in great condition as you can see but i'm going to try to clean this up and uh hopefully it works um the pins don't look very bad and uh, it's dented there, but like I, it, it's been sitting in the basement, or I don't remember, like I said, if you found it in the basement or attic, but it's just been sitting there for probably years. So I want to see if it works. So I'm going to clean it up and we'll test it, see if it works. I'll be back. All right, guys, so I'm back and um, I got the front real nice and clean, but the back tore it right off. See, there's the back right there. Um, like I said, who knows how many years this has been on there. Um, like I said, my brother found it, I think, in the attic or in the basement. I don't know which one. But, uh, oh, that really stinks. But, that's, I guess it's fine. Um, if I find one was a better back label then that's okay but I'll keep this for now I don't know if I'm gonna put my usual um, spine on it the top sticker but that's okay now let's just go see if rope squadron works all right let's see if this game works and here we go Look at that. Works, guys. Wow. So I know I didn't say this when I was in the kitchen, but this is another game I would play at the Ronald McDonald House. Um, they had this game there as well. <laughs> Let's erase these games. Wow, I, I can't believe this works. Let's try this. Wow. So this is another game I used to play at Toronto McDonald House in Pittsburgh. They had this game. And I'm positive it was at Toronto McDonald House in Pittsburgh and not at the hospital. 
because I remember this was with Gex. Man, this is... Oh, I can't believe this works. Alright, I'm shooting at my own guys. Sorry. So it's this way. There, all right. I was shooting at the wrong things. So I remember playing this game at the Ronald McDonald House in Pittsburgh, and I wasn't very good at it. Um, that is the same Ronald McDonald House where we played Gex. If you remember that, if you guys remember that story, uh, this was the same Ronald McDonald House. They have this game for the Nintendo 64 as well. Down in the basement, and I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh man, All right, let's see if I can get that one. So, what are your guys' opinion on the back label? The, the front label is in perfect condition, so... Should I add this to my collection, or should I trade this in and buy a uh, another copy of this where it is intact as well? Or, or since the front label's intact, should I keep? Should I just keep this copy? Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Um, I'm not sure. Of course, I'm going to keep it in my collection for now, but I want to see what you guys think. Should I? Should I go buy a copy where the back label is in perfect condition? Or since the front label on this is in good condition, should I just keep this copy that I found, that my brother found in the attic or basement, wherever he found it? Um, what do you guys think? What's your opinion on that? Uh, let's see if I... This is one of the games I remember I wasn't very good at playing in the Ronald McDonald House. Uh, I was not very good at this game when I was younger. I was kind of confused. I didn't know where to go. But I think I have a handle on it now. I know what to do. Um, and I do like it a lot better now that I know what I'm doing. Uh, and let me just get this last guy. If I can find him. Oh, I almost, almost hit him. I don't think I get down to him though. How do I, I keep missing him. Oh. And I crashed. I, there's, the, there's, the, there's the last guy right there. Let me go back and get him. Let me get this last guy. Just running around here. There we go. We got that last guy. So I'm going to pause it here and I'll be back with you guys. And there is Star Wars Rogue Squadron officially added to my Nintendo 64 game collection. Another game off the list. Alright everybody, let me know your opinion should i keep this game or should because of the tear on the back label or should i get a new one keep it or get a new one the front labels in perfect condition it's just the back as you saw in the video so put your comments below what you think should i get a new copy with a good back label or should i just keep this one since the front label is in perfect condition again thank you guys for watching transplant gamer leave a comment below hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later Bye.